Right, what are the chances of this man behind you taking over Manchester United? Well, look, I think he's got a uh, pretty decent chance. I wouldn't say he's one of the favourites because uh, there is so much interest in buying Manchester United. There's going to be a lot of interest from US investors. That's what we saw when Chelsea were put up for sale last year. There's also going to be a lot of interest from the Middle East, uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar. So I think he's got a pretty good chance. But he is somebody who in the past has said that he believes uh, Premier League clubs are overvalued. So I don't think he's going to want to pay crazy money for Manchester United. And I think it, if it develops into a bidding war, uh, I don't think he'll want to get involved in that. I think he'll have an idea of what he wants to pay for Manchester United. And I don't think he'll go very much above that. What will that figure be? Well, we know... When it came to Chelsea last year, he was willing to pay £4 billion for Chelsea. Uh, that's a little bit complicated, though, because that deal was basically you pay £2.5 billion for Chelsea and you promise that you're going to spend another £1.75 billion in the future on improving the infrastructure. So I think he is ready to spend somewhere like three, four. Uh, maybe £5 billion uh, on Manchester United, but he's not going to pay crazy money for the club. I think he's far uh, too sensible a businessman to do that. OK. He's saying he won't pay crazy money, but potentially 4 or £5 billion, pounds, which is pretty incredible, crazy. isn't it? Pretty yeah. crazy money. And, uh, it is that where we, where we think the, the, the fee would be for the club as well, around that mark? Well, look, if, if the Glazers do end up selling the club, of course they want to get as much money as possible. Uh, what do the markets tell us? The markets today, New York Stock Exchange, uh, United's share price has gone up 80% since November when the Glazer family basically let it be known that they may be prepared to sell the club. Uh, as of today, Manchester United is worth £3 billion, according uh, to their valuation uh, at the New York Stock Exchange. £3 billion. Uh, there's been lots of talk that United could go for five, six, seven, eight billion pounds. I'm not sure it will get that high. Uh, the world record price paid for a sports club last year, the Denver Broncos uh, changed hands. I think that was for about £3.7 billion. Pounds. I think United will probably go for more than that. So whatever they do end up being sold for, if they are sold, I think it will be a world record for a sports club. OK, I'm going to put you on the spot and I apologise, but it's a tough question. Two of England's most successful clubs are now up for sale. You could argue the two biggest clubs in England, let's face it, Liverpool, Manchester United. In your opinion, if your pockets were bulging with cash, what is the better investment? Which club is better value for money at the moment? Look, I think if it comes down to value for money, most people would say that Liverpool represent the better deal at the moment. And if you talk to uh, investors in the Middle East, especially, that is what they're saying. And the reason they're saying that is, of course, Manchester United is one of the biggest names in world football. United themselves claim they've got a billion fans. They claim that one out of every, what, seven people in the world is a Manchester United fan. That is how big they are. But the problem is, United need a lot of money spending on them. Old Trafford needs to be redeveloped. How much is that going to cost? Billion pounds? Uh, money needs to be spent on the training ground as well. Whereas if you look at Liverpool and what the owners of Liverpool have done over the past 10 years or so, they have redeveloped Anfield. They've spent a lot of money redeveloping Anfield. So if you buy Liverpool, you don't really need to spend that much money on the ground. Also, Liverpool have got a brand new training ground as well. So you don't have to spend money on redeveloping the training ground. So I think purely from an investment value for money point of view, a lot of people would say at the moment Liverpool represent the better deal. And I think Liverpool would be cheaper to buy than Manchester United as well.